Hi, everyone. My name is Alyssa Salazar. I'm a sophomore business major concentrating in marketing with a minor in sports management, and I'm also on the women's golf team. Um, like Jeremy said, the community partner we worked with was Leando Juntos, and we meet every Tuesday and Thursday from five to six. And our main goal is to help these children improve their reading skills and love it at the same time. So some of the key challenges that I noticed the students face is lack of a quiet workspace when they're at home. And they usually have their brothers or sisters, family members around them at all times. And every now and then we get like a couple family members jump in and help us read. And I think that is so awesome. Um, another one of the troubles that we've faced was Wi-Fi trouble or just technology trouble in general. And sometimes a language barrier. Um, I don't know if anyone in here has been to Lando Juntos with us, but sometimes the students speak little to no English at all, or maybe they're fluent, and sometimes the parents speak little to no English at all as well. So I speak Spanish, and so most of the time I'm in the main room and translating for the students and families to help them get to their breakout rooms. But regardless of the challenges that these students face, they still continue to show up and participate. Um, at the beginning of the semester, we were in one large breakout room and one of the Dominican students led the warm up and then we split into smaller breakout rooms and read to the students. Um, towards the middle of the semester, I think there was a Zoom update, so we became more a little more tech savvy and that the DU students were all made co-hosts and then we invited the students to our breakout rooms individually and then we also read to them. So I think that really improved the students' confidence and ability to read. They know how to read, but with a smaller group of people, more of a one-to-one -one or five-to-one ratio of DU students to San Pedro elementary students was smaller. And I think they got more comfortable with reading and watching them prove was in such a short amount of time was truly, truly amazing. And as you can tell in the video, the students love to read. They love to participate. We play games with them. And I think that really let us connect on a personal level with the students. And there's so many things to learn from these children, but if I had to pick one, it would be their work ethic. These students wanna succeed on their own. They come to Leon de Juntos with great attitudes and they're always ready to read. I mean, regardless of what kind of day they had, they're willing to put in that extra effort for an hour on Tuesdays and Thursdays to read with us. And there are two students in particular that are always volunteer to read, which means that they have enough confidence to read out loud with us and to their classmates. And I think that's a pretty big step for a kindergarten through third grader. Like I said, in the beginning, I was the one reading, but towards the end of Land of Juntos, I think the children read about 95% of the time. And I'm so glad that we've been able to watch them improve this much in such a short amount of time.